All right, guys, here we are with Sniper Elite VR. Uh, I've been looking forward to checking this game out. And, uh, you know, I've been hearing a lot about Sniper Elite. You know, it's not a series that I'm actually really familiar with when it comes to 2D games. I haven't played a lot of Sniper Elite. I've played one, and I know of the game, and I know the concept and everything, but it's not a game that I've fully dived into with all the games that they've released. But I'm really, really excited to play a shooter in VR like this uh, with the kill cam and stuff. So let's go ahead and dive in, and let's see what this game looks like on the Quest 2. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming tech. All right, In guys. So age, here we are. It is easy to lose sight of what we have: family, freedom, peace. Forty years ago, the world, this place, really, really impressive graphics here. Very different. Not a day passes when I do not think of that time, when I'm not thankful that I am still here. Thankful for them. Why did we fight? We fought so they would not have to. So they would never have to live through the horrors we faced. After capturing Sicily, the Allies prepared to assault mainland Italy. While the Nazis strengthened their defenses in the south, we partisans fought to weaken them and hasten the end of fascist control of our homeland. All right, here we go. The town of Pazzano was under attack. We fought to hold the Nazis back and to buy time for my partisan comrades to capture one of their artillery pieces. I needed a rifle. Okay. Stole the rifle by putting it over your shoulder. All right. And bullets, too. I moved to this the This is like Half-Life Alex, like where you like burning. pull something to bring it towards you. I use my right hand. Okay. Pull the bolt back. Oh yeah, now that feels weird. This would make more sense. Retrieve ammo from your belt. Okay. Insert the clip into your rifle. Push forward to reload. Hold down on the rifle with your second hand. I took a few moments to test the weapon. Raise and look through and the scope. My aim. Okay. Do you see it? Seven and continue. Jesus. Dante, dead from the front, rallying us to hold the walls. Mm. I had to get to Dante and help him. Okay, so we're going up there to help. Let's go. I'm really liking the graphics in this game. Uh, for There's like explosions. Just like a campaign. Before I could reach Here him, we go. Dante was gone. I would mourn later. At first, I had an enemy to kill. All right. Got one. Takes some getting used to with this. Him, it looked like I got a headshot. Really?
Ooh, got him with the headshot. Let's go. Ooh, that was nice. I like the little zooming in action there. And it looks like I got a checkpoint here where I can move. Nice little heart shot there. Got him. Ooh, right through the hand, right through the heart. Our leader, my friend, had given his life begging the Allies to send help. We didn't know if it was coming, but for his sake, we hoped and we fought on. Captured artillery, destroyed the tank, and bought us another chance. And there you go, mission complete, six kills. Headshots, two, accuracy, 77, longest shot. Completion time, that was a long time. Eight minutes and 32 seconds. And you get a score. I did get all three stars, though. Complete the mission, get a headshot at a distance, and score over a thousand, so the not Nazi bad. Attack had been a reprisal for the death of a senior German officer. The kill ordered by Dante, the fatal bullet fired by me. The Germans knew we were responsible, and they struck back without mercy, killing partisans and villagers alike. It was a slaughter. With Dante's death, we'd lost our leader. It would have been easy for us to give up, to lose hope. Instead, we strengthened our resolve. We would need it for what was still to come. Oh, I have a thing in front of me. Active loadout. Okay, so let's go ahead and go here. Dante and his partisans needed an isolated place to hide out and train, and my father wanted to help. Our home became the headquarters for the local resistance. This is where my father taught me to shoot. All right, so we got a range coming. He would stay here for hours, making me practice with his Carcano M91, a relic from the Great War, critiquing every shot. I drew on the hours I had spent with father's rifle. Calmness, focus, breathing. These were the skills I honed. All right. Well, this one's far. shot would land before I even pulled the trigger. Nine, one, two, one. Let's see what we got going on over here. Looks like it's pointing us to go over here. I 
think the graphics in here look pretty good uh, for a quest title. I think they did. An ugly weapon, but effective. Hold to aim. Release to throw. Oh, yeah, that's a really easy grenade to throw. You're not actually physically throwing it. Speed of thought and action. The shot became natural, like So now we're going to the stone. pistol range. Interact to start. I trained at every opportunity, pushing myself to perfect my skills. I had to improve with the pistol. It had advantages over the rifle in close quarters. Oh, gotta reload. Oh, I gotta go faster. Those things are not waiting for me. I began to feel at one with the weapon. SMG range. Where's that at? Over here. This is obviously showing you all the different weapons and stuff that you can use in the game. So I soon lost idea. count of the hours I spent at those ranges. My comrades' lives might depend on me hitting my target. This is a lot of uh, recoil where it bounces. These weapons could be devastating if controlled properly. Oh, you could hold it back. Get more accuracy, but it goes slower, of course. All right, let's try. Precision mattered less than speed. All right, so now we're going to equip a loadout. In the early days, we had to make do with what we had, doing our best to pick the right tool for the job. We often had to gather what weapons and supplies we could from the battlefield, slowly improving our arsenal. New objective, exit. All right, let's go. All right, rifle range 9121s, SMG range 234. All right, so we got our, our little completion time, stats there. The repetition of training helped me to separate the shots from the lives I took. On the rocking chair again. It's a cool little environment, so then you could pick your missions from here. And then it gives you like your scores that you can kind of, it's kind of like you're reading a book on a bench and you're kind of looking over other family and stuff, which is cool. Um, all right, so we got the sniper in that. All right, so we can go next. And, oops. So let's go ahead and see. Let me give you guys uh, one more look at another mission. We probably won't do the whole thing. We'll just do In a piece of it. In the moments before his death, Dante had made contact with the Allies and begged them for help. We could only keep fighting, hope that they heard, and pray they would be here in time. The artillery had loosened the Nazis' grip, and we pushed forward. Stop the attack. From the tower, I could slow the enemy. But we would need help from above to stop them. Bottom. 
by the other guys. Oh. He's down now too. Father had taken charge of the unit. Here but he was no one. leader. As the enemy closed in on us, I knew only I could save my comrades from being overrun. Oh, really? It definitely looked like I hit him. Sometimes the uh Sometimes the sniper seems to like bug out and you have to kind of like let it go. Got him on that one. Dante's pleas had worked. The Allies had sent a bomber to try to cut off the enemy. in the heart. Damn, I definitely missed him there. Definitely knew that. Oops. Definitely knew that that shit was a headshot. And there's guys on this side too. That's who was shooting me that I couldn't see. Oh, that was a good shot. Ooh, on his hands. Right off that rifle. That's a headshot. Boom! Oh, went in his eyeball. Oof, took his eyeball much, out with that. But if it could destroy the bridges, it might be enough. Headshot again. Ooh, there you go. Father had to fall back. The area was too overrun, and it was up to me to hold on before the bomber arrived. You got him. we lost because the enemy overran us so we definitely got to do that quicker uh the next time we play this guys because the enemy came up on board and they were attacking us and i failed to stop them but that should still give you guys a good idea of what the game is like um you know uh, of what sniper elite is like you know obviously um so far our early impressions for me the graphics are better than i expected for a quest 2 game that's really cool i like the way that they're telling the story so far going through this book as you're sitting on this bench and kind of overlooking the family um one of the things i don't like about how they're telling the story is if you guys hear the music in the background right now if you guys were listening when the guy talks the music abruptly just cuts he's not talking over the music and it kind of silences down like you would expect in the music you can just literally hear someone hit the pause on the on the music and he started talking it sounds weird uh when it does like that i'd rather him just be talking over the music and the music lower but it sounds weird on how it keeps cutting out like that um but yeah graphics are good the the sniper elite gameplay that you guys all like from previous games from the, the judgment that i have from playing these couple of missions is obviously here um you know you're going through each mission and you're using your sniper you're sometimes you're using pistols and stuff uh giving you some variety of the environments uh seem to be really well done so far there's 18 missions in the game 
so you guys can expect you know so, some longevity in this game about five to seven hours and the last mission for you to get to you need to reach a certain amount of stars so these stars that you're getting through the missions are important so you're gonna have to replay them eventually to get all the stars to be able to unlock the final mission uh when you play through this game but yeah if you guys like a game like sniper elite you're looking for a game like this uh world war ii style game in vr this one looks to be really well done so far um the only issue i have so far besides that music thing i complain about is getting used to holding the sniper is a little weird and you guys probably saw me struggle with it a couple times because i like holding it with this hand and then this hand in front and sometimes when i use this to focus and then i let go of this hand to reload when i went to go pick this up the gun wouldn't be in the exact position so i'd basically have to let this hand go and pick the sniper up with this and kind of like maneuver it around to get readjusted so that could just be me needing some time to get used to uh, how it works but you know once you're in there and locked in it feels really good and the kill shots and and, the, and all that stuff look awesome in vr um and i'm having a, a good time with it so far so if you guys have any questions about what you guys saw in today's gameplay as always guys leave it down below if not thank you guys for watching Till next time